Bozen is asking, what do you think of Imran Khan being disqualified for running for office? You know, as much as I don't like Imran Khan, this sounds and smells and tastes very anti-democratic. I don't think like, I think the reasons why they have to disqualify them, I kind of suspect it's not the actual reason why they're disqualifying them, right? Yeah, I think this is a little bit more politically motivated than it is um, any actual justification. At the very least, the, the I think the populace of uh, Pakistan is is going to see it that way. A lot of his yeah. supporters are not going to be interested in your well legal code, blah blah. Like fuck all that. Um, so yeah, I I don't I don't think it's going to result in as good of a outcome as they think. Yeah, and it is. I think it's important for us to be cons- be like we're anti-Islam but we're also pro democracy mm-hmm. and i know imran khan was supposed to be somebody that was more secular but he leaned into the whole islamic elements of politics as more than disappointed a whole bunch of people that were a whole bunch of secular people including her sultan um that were very much disappointed and heartbroken by how much he did that but i think supporting democracy takes priority over us i don't know like what do you when it comes to supporting secularism or democracy which one takes priority for you wow i think democracy. wow that's tough man yeah (laughs) god i don't know because part of me says like okay if we have the democracy but it's not secular well it's fucked anyway so but then the other part of me is like well if we have the secularism but it's not democratic we're also fucked i don't know dude that's actually (laughs) That's actually much, much harder of a question than I was expecting to get tonight, Armin. I'm going to have to <laughs> negotiate my contract again. Uh, <laughs> God, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'll have to think on that, man. Because seriously, it's it's hard to know which one is more beneficial to a surviving and thriving society, right? Because yeah. it seems like both of them, both of them have lots of value, but at the same time, if you have one without the other, it seems to crumble pretty quickly. You know, if you, if you have a democracy, but it's not secular, well, the likelihood of it getting changed into a theocracy is, is, is much stronger. And, and if you have secular government, but it's not, it's not democratic, well, then it might as well just be. Actually, I would prioritize democracy. You know why? Because I think, Secularism is better at stopping democracy than demo- democracy is at stopping secularism. Ah, uh, I see what you. Okay, so you're saying you're saying. I mean, secu- secularism. Sorry, it's it, not not secularism. A a, di- a secular dictatorship mm-hmm. is better at stopping democracy mm-hmm. than a democratic religious government is at stopping secularism. It's the it's you're you're coming at it from an aspect of which one is more likely to grow in in, the, in, in yeah hmm. that's yeah. that's really interesting yeah because I'll, i think the base of the people eventually is going to move towards so if we have democracy but we still have religion and government is because people haven't been enlightened yet but i think eventually mm-hmm. people will become enlightened and as long as we give the people their own choice things will eventually move in the right direction even if even if at the beginning it doesn't okay I like that. but yeah so but people are calling me out in the live chat people are saying um oxymoron is saying but armin you did wish that trump is disqualified for elections uh and so is saying yes armin do you wish trump is disqualified yes for yeah. actual reasons right. for legitimate reasons right I, what i'm saying is that if emran khan for example was being disqualified and the reason for his disqualification was a genuine concern uh, was the reason mentioned and cited was genuinely <laughs> the actual reasons mm-hmm. and it was you know legally sound um then i would be like yeah they're just like these are he's being anti-democratic and pakistan laws is, has ways to remove people who are being anti-democratic so it's completely justified right so i mean i'm not for absolute democracies i'm a, i mean i have limitations there are limitations to the democracy to the demo this is yeah. why republic a republic puts limitations to how what the will of the people can do right yep. um so i would be for that i'm just saying i'm suspecting that the 
what the act, what's actually happening in Pakistan is that they don't like the man and they don't like his popularity and they don't like his decisions. It's more about like him pissing off Americans and getting closer to Russians. Those are the actual reasons, which I think are good reasons to hate Imran Khan, actually, to be sure. honest, right? But not but keep him not, from running for office. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. not good. It's dishonest if you cite something yeah. else. And, if, yeah. if you attempt to overthrow a uh, democratic government if you actively do that uh, or or fan the flames to do so and it and it can be shown i think that's a pretty acceptable reason to say you don't get to participate anymore like imagine imagine somebody coming to a um, a football match and like in the middle of the game like grabbing the ball and like stabbing it and then like ripping the nets off it'd be like oh dude you don't get to fucking play anymore <laughs> like no but i'm a really good forward it's like i don't care like Yes, and 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 Rebecca and D are pointing out in live chat that Trump is a criminal. Okay, I don't yes. I don't just support him being disqualified. The man no. should be in jail. Yeah. I mean, it's a failure of the system in the United States that he's not behind bars already. We're having so a tough. This we're, is like we're yeah. we're having a tough time right now in the U.S. Armin. Just just yeah. just no need to no need to rub some don't salt rub in the in. wound. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, as a Canadian, I try not to do that because I know Canadians <laughs> have this habit. I, I honestly think it's a disgusting habit that Canadians have acting so high, like high and mighty and superior to Americans. There's a huge cult Canadian culture to piss on Americans, you know, and a lot of people laugh at it and celebrate it. And I think like, oh, come on, come on. Like you guys, you know what it is? Let me piss on Canadians a little bit, okay? It's actually an inferiority complex, okay? Canadians have an inferiority complex to Americans, so they keep trying to highlight the things that they're better at because they know that this, this, they're a small little country with very, on, a, on worldwide, very insignificant, and America gets so much attention and so much the power and so much technology and so much wealth, and they're just a footnote right next to their, you know, to just like act like a half of a province next to uh, one of the states of the United States. That's what they are. Like they yeah. just like the 51st state of the United States. I, so the inferiority complex makes them feel like they need to keep demonstrating to the world how superior they are to Americans. And I yeah. say this as a Canadian. Yeah. I, I, I love the little rivalry between America and Canada just because I think it's, it's stupid and, and it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, like it's i don't think it's ever gonna in, like come to like an armed conflict or anything so i love uh I, I love making fun of canadians and saying that their their entire country is essentially geese and uh moose and snow uh some some maple leaves too but other than that that's that's pretty much all of canada so <laughs> american supremacist well <laughs> you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.